In this biography of Samuel Beckett, we will start with cricket. Because Samuel Beckett was a regular first class cricketer and he was a very active athlete. Hello everyone, welcome to Slideshow English. Previously, we have covered two videos including Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot detailed analysis and Waiting for Godot philosophy. You can get both of the videos from the description box. After enjoying these two videos, our viewers asked to make an exclusive video on the biography of Samuel Beckett. So now we are here with our video. For now, let's start the video and let's make English straightforward. We mentioned earlier that Samuel Beckett was a very regular first class cricketer. He is the only Nobel Literature Laureate to have played the first class cricket. He was playing since his childhood and was fond of watching cricket matches. He was a playwright, novelist, essayist, poet, director and translator from Dublin, Ireland. His full name was Samuel Barclay Beckett and was born on 13th April 1906. His father was William Frank Beckett and mother was Maria Jones Rowe. This couple married on 1901 and had two sons. The elder one was Frank Edward Beckett and the younger was Samuel Beckett. At the age of 14, Beckett was sent to Portora Royal School. There he spent three years and then left the school. Then Beckett joined Trinity College Dublin. He was brilliant as a student and graduated in 1927 from this college. He also got a gold medal from his college. In 1928, he moved to Paris and in 1929, Beckett published his first work, Dante Bruno Vico Joyce. Then Beckett published his first short story, Assumption. In 1930, Samuel Beckett returned to Dublin as a lecturer at Trinity College. He was fond of traveling and exploring. Beckett traveled in Europe. In 1931, Beckett published his critical research on French author Marcel Proust, entitled Proust. Then he understood that he is not perfect a teacher and cannot be a lecturer anymore. He decided to take writing as a career. In his own writing career, he got many rejections and drawbacks. We can get this nature of failure in his writing too. In 1932, Samuel Beckett wrote his first novel, Dream of Fair to Middling Omen. He faced huge difficulties to publish this work. In the next year, he published his famous short story collection, More Pricks Than Kicks. In 1935, Samuel Beckett published his widely celebrated poetry collection, Echoes Bones. He married Suzanne in 1961, and his life turned a new direction. Beside continuing writing, Samuel Beckett started working as a theatre director. He achieved great success in the field of directing. Till the end of his life, Samuel Beckett kept writing great plays and kept directing theatres with massive success rate. We also find his extramarital relationship with a widow named Barbara Bray. Another important aspect of analyzing Samuel Beckett's life is his mental abnormality or psychological balancelessness. He suffered from heavy depression and mental anxiety. Beckett also took various psychological counseling and therapies. But he carried his mental illness till his death. We can find details of psychoanalysis in his Morphe and Watt. As Beckett himself went through the experiences of many psychological problems, his writings contain the glimpse of his experiences. 
Samuel Beckett died on 22nd December 1989. His body was buried in Paris. And the gravestone contains the quote, any color so long as it's gray. Samuel Beckett's primary works contain great inspiration and influence from another Irish writer, James Joyce. Basically, he tried to follow the trends of his days, but later, his later writings are great examples of his writing maturity. In his later works, we find the themes of ignorance, failure, and hopelessness. His early writings contain the short story collection More Pricks Than Kicks, his novel Morphe, his essay Proust, and another writing what and all these writings carry very significant evidence of Beckett's writing style among the works the most legendary is waiting for Godot this was just a groundbreaking play written by Samuel Beckett this play was a blockbuster and we made some detailed videos on waiting for Godot if you want, you can access all the videos from the link provided into the description box. By the way, later Samuel Beckett wrote more plays like Endgame, Happy Days, Play, Breathe, etc. Samuel Beckett wrote both in French and English and he translated his own works from French to English. Samuel Beckett's later works took very minimalist approach. We call them theater of absurd because Samuel Beckett literally manufactured the way of writing absurd plays. In his whole life and in his whole writing career, Samuel Beckett achieved many honors and achievements. In 1959, he got the honorary doctorate from Trinity College Dublin. In 1961, he got international publishers for Mentor Prize and in October 1969, Beckett won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Samuel Beckett actually opened up new ways not only for the writers but also for the next generation philosophers and thinkers around the world. His writings are highly condensed with greater meaning and that gives us purpose in life. Hope this video was great for you. If yes, then please be subscribed to us to get more exclusive videos like that. Comment down your questions or doubts or any other questions with no hesitation. But for now, tell me goodbye, we'll be meeting on another slideshow English video.